on YouTube this is Puck so you have an iPhone 3 GS and you want to downgrade it you up, uh, upgraded it to 6.13 by the rules of Apple and you find that the phone became slow and it's not running as fast anymore as when you first got it probably running uh, iOS 4. Point something or maybe even 3.13 depending on how old your iPhone is well in my case my iPhone 3GS uh, was running 3.13 because I really wanted it to run 3.13 because of its speed you know and then I updated it and at a certain moment I just did all the updates and I ended up with 6.13 and I'm talking about this iPhone here it's an iPhone um, 3GS 32 gigabytes you see that and uh, it was running iOS 6.13 and I'm gonna show you and tell you in a really fast way how to um, downgrade your us your uh, factory unlocked iPhone 3GS from 6.13 straight up to iOS 4.1 okay what you need is a computer with the latest version of iTunes installed you need to have Java installed on your computer you also need to download a program called tiny umbrella make sure you have all these three things installed and ready to use on your computer also you need of course the iOS IPSW 4.1 for iPhone 3GS download it to your desktop when you have these four uh, software packages then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the phone into a DFU modus but you will only do that when uh, you already connected the phone to iTunes so you connect the phone with the USB cable to your computer and then you turn it off and then you perform the steps to put the phone into a DFU mode if you don't know how to do that watch one of my videos or one of the many videos on YouTube how to put your phone into a DFU mode make sure that the cable is connected make sure that when the phone goes into a DFU mode that you hear tunum and that you see that the phone is like installing drivers and that iTunes will pop up and say I found a phone that needs to be restored okay until that point uh, when you get uh, the warning that iTunes found a phone that it wants to restore you hit the shift on your keyboard the shift while clicking restore iPhone you will see that it will not restore it will let you browse for the IPSW the file you want to restore it with and then it will find iOS uh, IPSW um, 4.1 <laughs> and then when um, when you point it to the 4.1 you know amazingly you will see that Apple is still signing uh, that uh, iOS version so you know the install procedure will start but <laughs> at a certain moment around 75 percent you will get an error the 1015 error I already have a very popular movie in my list uh, showing you on the iPhone 3G how to get out of that error but that same method also works for the iPhone 3GS doing this method that I'm showing you so when you get the error 1015 only thing you have to do is start up your tiny umbrella make sure you give all the permissions to your firewall and when tiny umbrella is running in the left upper corner you will see uh, a question mark and probably some numbers that is the iPhone select it you know and then in the right upper corner you will see um, get out of recovery mode and then you just kick it out of recovery mode and then you will see amazingly that the setup that failed at 75% will finish it will it will finish the setup and then the phone will reboot 
and then uh, after connecting to iTunes, iTunes will activate your phone and I'm talking about only iPhones that are SIM lock free um, that are factory unlocked so this is not for iPhone 3GS's that depend on the SIM lock for uh, for those phones there's a other procedure and uh, that procedure is really uh, a little bit harder than this easy way that I'm showing you so when you get a 1015 error you just kick it out uh, out of recovery with a tiny umbrella and then your phone will start up and then you will be back on 4.1 the amazing fast uh, OS uh, for your for your iPhone you know everything goes faster uh, video you know Facebook everything everything goes faster than on 6.13 you know sometimes you're just like waiting like come on man you know damn and you won't have that problem anymore when you're on 4.1 anyway that is how to downgrade straight up from 6.13 uh, to 4.1 if you like this video if you think this information was useful please hit this video like and subscribe to my channel till my next video bye